Hi, good afternoon. We're here with Sam Hay from Ellis Hay. How are you doing, Sam? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Good stuff. Thank you very much for joining us today. So if you could give us a little bit of background as to who you are, what it is you do and how long you've been doing it for, please. Yes, so my name is Sam Hay. I'm one of the managing partners for Ellis Hay, which is an estate agency in Scarborough. Um, we operate as primarily a letting agent, but we also do sales and we do block maintenance as well. So we kind of come at it from all three sectors of the property maintenance company. Brilliant. And how long has the company been going? The company itself started its life as a letting agency, and um, that was over 20 years ago, various iterations. And for the last nine years or so, um, we've been managed by myself and my husband, Phil. Um, we're owned a family owned company, me and Phil and my mum and dad. And so for the last nine years, we've been operating rentals, sales and um, block maintenance. Great. So is it always, always, sorry, always been in the family? Uh, yes, yes. So originally the company was owned by my mum and dad and they had other partners. Um, yeah. And then when my dad retired, he retained one half of the company. Um, and then that's when my husband and I started to run it. And then we rebranded as Ellis Hay. Um, so we operate with our expertise, um, but also the pedigree of my dad's 40 plus years in the yeah. estate agency world and he's he's very much on the golf course but he's also at the end of the phone and very keen yeah. to um give advice and to listen yeah with all that experience so what yeah. is it that makes you guys different then from you know what is a a, a popular sector with with many different sort of estate agents letting agencies how do you guys uh, yeah stand out is it that experience that you, you well get I, the family I think it? I think I think that primarily is really important, having that kind of pedigree of of having somebody in the wings that is really experienced and and trusted within our community, yeah. which my dad is. He's you know very much people know him and 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 respect his integrity and his experience. Um, but I think what we bring alongside that is a slightly more modern approach in in you know in recognition that today is very different to nineteen ninety one when my dad first set up, um, and. I, th I think a lot of it is to do with having a very calm, pragmatic and sensible approach and being in integrity is, is a key word for us, really, in our mm. how we operate our business. And, and um, that's different, difficult to kind of advertise. Come to us. We have integrity. But that's kind yeah. of that's how that's our ethos, really, is that we will operate. Fa We're here to make money. Mm -hmm. everybody is as a business owner um but we're here to make it fairly and properly and not rip anybody off and 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 provide a you know to to be a, a provide a good service sure that's great so in terms of your business journey then and a family business yeah how would you describe that journey in one word and then expand on that kind of one word um interesting <laughs> yeah i would say um sometimes it's difficult sometimes not because we don't get on we do um, my husband and I ran a different business previously and, and we very much work as a, well we're a great team um, we we know our different roles and we stick to what we're good at and and that means that those two areas of the business that you know kind of come at it but from both angles um but it's not without it's challenging work challenges working with family um i think in some ways it's it's slightly more you know I, I don't have to worry about offending my husband with what i say and he doesn't have to worry about offending me and similarly when we're having a conversation with dad which we do often you know where are we going and all of that kind of stuff um th there's a shorthand because we know each other, you know, obviously yeah. I've known my dad all my life. I've known my husband for as long as we've been together, which is 30 odd years. Um, and my dad know, has known my husband all of that time. So there's a huge amount of trust. Um, and that's what, I, you know, I've seen it in the past with other businesses where partners, and that can be quite a difficult dynamic, yeah. um, business partnerships. You have to have a huge amount of trust of each other. And, and I think because we are family members, it's not quite taken for granted. It's not, um, you know, it, it, but, but it, but it, there is a shorthand to yeah. being comfortable and being honest and trusting each other, which I think is, is, well, it's very, it's very nice as a, as a working relationship, but it sure. also means that it, it also feeds into that integrity. I think that I talked about yeah, before yeah. as well. Sounds like good open communication and then providing yeah. stability that you've got. That yeah. I mean, given relationship. 
yeah we don't always agree um because yeah. you know you don't do you but um mm -hmm. but we always work through our, our conversations and 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 we all we all of us we know that we have the best interest of the business at heart mm -hmm. but also the best interest of the family because you know there's more than just me and phil in the family um and it's in everybody's interest that the business is thriving so um you know great. there's a co there's a common goal yeah i was gonna say great sort of uh, personal goals and motivation there to yeah to where the, the bigger purpose the common common good so that's brilliant yes nice. yeah, yeah very much so yeah like that so um what's the future looking like for you guys and what do you see as the greatest challenges or or opportunities ahead yeah well the future i well at the the future is good um i don't see any reason to be anything other than optimistic um i think the last kind of four years since the pandemic what that's really shown us is that, is that you have to be flexible um and you have to you have to th kind of think on your feet and you have yeah. to be really prepared to pivot and to you know paraphrase a classic friends quote you have to pivot you know you, you have to you have to be very capable of of coldly looking at your business and thinking okay well that's not working what will work and what will get us to where we need to be and what do our customers need from us and and mm -hmm. so I, th I think flexibility is really important and and with that comes with the acknowledgement that you're not always right and sometimes you know business um colleagues people that work for you or whatever you, you have to be prepared to listen to everybody's point of view um it's ultimately my responsibility mine and phil's responsibility to make the right decisions and to act on those decisions and move forward but you have to you have to trust the people that work for you and and, and appreciate what they say as well so i think i think really um the future is bright um, I'll make sure that it is, um, but it's about being flexible and, um, you know, thinking on your feet a little bit, really. Yeah, definitely uh, adaptability on it. Mm. One question that I had because you're estate and letting agencies and thinking about this yeah. recently is, um, and, and when we look at the challenges, opportunity area in the future, yeah. the online estate agency model, how has yeah. that affected things um as you say as an industry you don't, i don't see as many around anymore or has no has well it, it, it was happened? it was there was a lot of um publicity about those kind of business models mm -hmm. and they have their merits um but they don't satisfy everybody's needs and sure. i th I, th I think also since the pandemic one thing that people ha have been become more acutely aware of is the need for person personal services in terms of they want to you know people want to talk to you and they want to be able to have somewhere to come in town to be able to sit at your desk and say right well what what this is what i need from you sam and to have a, a conversation um and very much our business stick if you like i suppose for want of a better phrase is that we're just sensible practical people and in sales particularly, I see my role as the selling bit, that's easy. You know, selling a house, negotiating on a deal, it's quite good fun. It's sport to make sure that you get the most that you can yeah. for somebody. Um, but a lot of people could do that. What they can't necessarily do is hold that client's hand and mm -hmm. escort them through the sales process and make sure that people don't lose the heads over the things that are difficult and make sure that the buyers stay committed and all of that. So, and that's very difficult for an online company to offer that level of basically handholding to make sure that people feel comfortable and supported through the process. So I think, I think they have a role and if, if a sale is really straightforward and um, and sometimes you see, I think as well, they, they've kind of fallen from the wayside recently because everybody thought it was a cheap way to do it. And, mm -hmm. oh, that's great. It's not going to cost us hardly anything to sell our house, if anything. Um, but people have now realized that they're not just paying me for nothing. There's an awful lot yeah. that I'm doing for the money. Like And like I say, the selling, the negotiating on the deal, that's not really what I'm being paid for. It's the mm -hmm. phone calls to solicitors, the guiding through, the making yeah. sure that all of the legal paperwork is done. And and I th so I think there's slightly more of an appreciation that actually you can't just sell your house for five hundred pounds because sure. it it costs more than that. You know, that <laughs> just that just somebody's time alone and and an, an online company. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. all you're going to get. 
I think you you touch on something potentially bigger there where in the age of digital transformation and AI yeah it but people are still people and we yeah. want connection between each other yeah. and that reassurance and yeah otherwise if we lose that then what else is kind of yeah. <laughs> left at the end of the day so there yeah. will be some pushback when it comes to what the market wants I guess yeah and I think actually that's interesting that you say that because really I I think that it kind of because we are in a digital age and AI and all of these things that, you know, they didn't exist five years ago or whatever. Um, actually, it means that people want that human connection more because yeah. 20 year, 25 years ago, when my dad was um, wheeling and dealing and selling and what have you, that was just taken for granted because that was the only way that you could do it. Um, and so then we've moved into this kind of digital age where you can do things over email and everything is super easy from that point of view. It makes things an awful lot better. Um, but but it actually makes the possibility of not having human contact. I think that makes it more valuable to have that human contact. Yeah. If that if that makes there's sense. A val- there's a value in that. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So what would be the biggest lesson, would you say, that you've learned over time as we come out of that kind of discussion is there one lesson that stands out for you in business in, in terms of since the pandemic and since oh, well, just since running your business since being in business if there's a i think one of the things transition. that um holds true the day that my dad first said it to me uh, yeah. to now is worry about your own business and when there are new competitors and when there are, you know, the digital presence of online agencies and all of this kind of stuff, it's very easy to fall into a trap of kind of panicking and thinking, oh, right, well, what do I offer and and, and yeah. what can I do? And I, and I think really it's really important to just take a breath and think mm-hmm. about your own business, concentrate on what you do, work out what it is people like about you and do more of that. Um, you kind of not get too het up with, other people's yeah well i mean it's it, you know you want to know what other people are doing don't you and, and and it's interesting to look at where your share is in the marketplace and everything but but actually just concentrate on your own business and make sure that that's running um as it should be and you know yeah. that will that the profit and the integrity hopefully will follow through doing sure. that i think and take take ideas from other people and make them better and implement well, them. Well, yeah, and, and I think, you know, to go back to your earlier point about AI and everything, yeah. I mean, AI is a really interesting thing. If, you, if you're thinking about writing a sales brochure, it yeah. would be very easy to open up whatever AI tool you use and type in a very brief description of a property and ask it to create a sales brochure for you or yeah. the blurb. Um, now, and, I, and I've done that. But what it doesn't do, it doesn't it doesn't know everything. Mm-hmm. So it's I think that's kind of a um the lesson of of all new things is that the the they're not they're not enough in their entirety on themselves. They're only ever a springboard for what you already know. And I think yeah. you have to yeah, have trust in yourself and your abilities that yeah, that tool is great, but actually it looks like it's written by AI. So you have to then go in and edit it and you have to make it better um so all of these new tools new digital things and everything they're great but they have to be tempered by your experience and your knowledge and um your commitment to your business really sure makes sense thank yeah. you for that so uh, what inspires you to do what you do then sam if uh, you were to think about is it like customers uh, working with your family your team members anything else friends well all of the above, I suppose, is, is the answer. Um, you know, I need, I want to have a successful business. I want to, um, I want to honor honor the legacy that my dad has brought um, to the business community in Scarborough. Um, I want to pay my mortgage. I want to be able to, you know, uh, have have nice things. Um, we do have a really fantastic team here, um, and we've got am- amazing staff. Um, and I want to do well for them. I want to pay them more. Um, you know, so it, it's all of those things. It's you can't really. I, th- I think if you had just one thing that motivated you, I think you would miss out on quite a lot of important opportunities and important ways of making sure that you are satisfied by 
your business yeah. um, because it isn't just about making money. Of course it is in terms of, you know, the bottom line has to be met. Um, but like I said at the very beginning, it's about making it in the right way and making sure that you act with integrity and, so, and on all of those things mm -hmm. are part of that, aren't they? Makes a lot of sense. And I like yeah. that, that summary. Yeah. Most people pick out just kind of one one thing, which you know that that's great in in their circumstances. But I I also agree with what you've said about the whole of the picture. Yeah, and well, yeah. Enjoy yeah. all the fruits of what you do. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it would be a pretty hollow victory to earn loads of money, but not have a great relationship with my dad. Or it would be a yeah. hollow victory to earn loads of money and not have amazing team members. And you know it one it all has to fit together um and that's the most fulfilling part that's what inspires me it's not a sure. thing it's it's all of those things great so if someone was to come to you for a piece of advice a younger person yeah just starting out let's say an estate agency what okay would, what yeah. piece of advice would you give them um well what piece of advice would i give them well just you know do what have fun along the way. I think that's and also, you know, feeding back into that previous answer about what inspires you. You have to have a nice time while you're doing it. It's not just about the, the end goal, is it? You know, yeah. you have to have a laugh as well and you have to have good relationships with everybody. Um, so I think if anybody was thinking, right, okay, I'm going to set up as an estate agent, um, do your due diligence. It's not quite as easy as you think it's going to be. There's an awful lot of legalities and everything. Um, and, 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 work out what you're good at and work out which bit of the business you're going to be good at and which bit of the business do you need to hire people who will be good at those bits um because i can't i i'm not good at everything um I, far from it there there's a lot of parts of the business that are not my specialty sure. um i think the art of delegation is it's my favorite skill um is yeah. is being able it's to delegate skill to have. Yeah, well, it well it is, and and you, you, I can't do it all. I you know, and I don't want to do it all. And you have to work out what is more effective: you doing it and not doing it well, or paying somebody else to do it well. Um, so yeah, work out what you're good at, and work out what what you need to pay other people to do. Good stuff. Good advice there. So, lastly, in terms of any latest news around what you are up to, or even as a case of sharing your website for people to find out more about you and where where they can get in touch feel free to do that now yeah so um well this about last year we took over another um rep lettings agency so we kind of doubled our rental stock so we now manage 450 um rental properties um and we're continuing to expand on our sales and block maintenance grows kind of every year as well quite organically actually that that grows um our website ellishay.co.uk um i've got new sales member of team about a new sales member of the team starting in a couple of weeks so i'm kind of looking forward to um increasing our sales presence as well um we're just looking forward to doing more of the same um and keeping 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 on going well i wish you all the best for the thank uh, you very much thanks very much thank Sam. you Take care.